everybody, this is Tina. Today is Tuesday, <clears throat> July the 2nd. Um, I'm just leaving Safeway. I uh, went and worked out with my trainer at Barefoot Fitness, and oh my goodness, it's quite quite the workout. Um, yeah, deadlifting, swinging, um, all, all sorts of stuff she had me doing. <laughs> Um, I feel good. I feel tired, hot, but I feel good. Had to run into Safeway and get a few things, and now I'm headed back to to, um, to my town, and I got a few things to do there. So um, let's see. I'm coming um, on today to make a video because I weighed this morning. And now, I don't really have a set time of when I weigh. Sometimes I weigh every day. Sometimes I weigh every other day. Sometimes I weigh every week or two weeks. Or it just, I don't have a set time. It just, I just weigh when I want to weigh. So this morning I got on the scale because I'm, I am one week pre-op for my brachioplasty. I weighed in last Monday at the surgeon's office at 2.35. There goes my phone again. Every time. Um, and so I thought, well, my goal is to lose. I want to be 225 next on July 9th, before the day that I go into surgery. So, well, it's 10 pounds. It's you know a couple weeks. It did, I, I decided this about three weeks ago. So I thought, well, this, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Just wanted to go on the scale. And it reads 230, I think it's 230.4. Oh my word. So, you know, I, like doubting Thomas, I am like, <laughs> okay, no, this can't be right. I could not have lost 4.6 pounds in a week. There's, I just couldn't. I mean, I, you know, I didn't. I just didn't work out consistently every day because my trainer had an emergency on Friday, so I couldn't work out with her. So I did stuff, you know, on my own, but I missed, and I missed the Monday, so I really only worked out a barefoot um, with my trainer one day last week, and then I just did my own stuff, and I thought, oh, I probably didn't lose any. So I take the scale, and I move it around to the other part of my bathroom, thinking, well, maybe it's the floor. Maybe the floor's tilting or something. Nope. 230.4. Really? Oh my gosh. So I start to feel like I'm going to cry. So I thought, well, now I better not get too excited. I'm going to take the scale to the kitchen and put it on the, the linoleum in the kitchen. So I do. And I step on it. And I look down and it's 230.4. Okay. I was, I just, I was crying. So I have five pounds to go to meet my goal by next Monday when I check in the hospital 5 30 a.m. a week from today for my surgery 225 is my goal I don't know if I'll make it you know what at this point it's okay I really want to be in the 220s oh my goodness I cannot believe it you guys I was 350 pounds I have lost 119 I'm then I'm being specific <laughs> 119 pounds point six. Oh my word yay I'm really excited so, I'm going to set my cruise here so I can chat. Okay. So, anyway. That's what's going on in my life today. So, I went and I worked out. And it was a great workout. It was tearful because my trainer hasn't... She's got some family, an emergency with her, her dad. And so, um, and 4th of July being Wednesday because I work out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, I will not be working out with her on Wednesday because obviously it's a holiday and then I Friday I'm hoping to have the other trainer that's there Kate um, she fills in for Kelly sometimes you know I talked to Kate today we're not sure with her schedule if she's gonna be able to train me on Friday so that means I'm on my own for the rest of the week which is scary and my treadmill's broken okay I have kettlebells at home so I'm thinking hmm, maybe I'm gonna have to go to Shields and get a you know some more kettlebells or something I, I don't know probably not but 
a 15, a 25, and a 35, and I, sh I mean, I'm deadlifting 120. I, you know, so I want some heavier bells, but you know, I could probably do the same, get the same effect with my 35 pound kettlebell. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on today. It is really smoky here in the Black Hills. It, we have got fires everywhere. Um, and I don't know if you guys have seen on the news, but that um, Air Force chopper, um, it, or the Air Force, what are they, tanker, a plane went down last night, probably about an hour and a half from me, because um, they were fighting one of the fires in the hills. Oh my word, it's just, and then another fire, about 10 o'clock, our scanner was going off, another fire at Lookout Mountain, where I work, at, where I hike, was on fire, which they got that out. But it's like, are you kidding? We are dry up here in western South Dakota in the Black Hills, we need rain. We are praying for rain. So there's no fireworks this year. My girls are bummed. We always have fireworks with family and let them off. And um, the horses are gonna be excited because they freak out, so do my dogs. But it should be, um, it's gonna be cool. You know, there's no fireworks at all in the hills at all. Usually do this big thing at Mount Rushmore. I haven't heard. I don't know if they're doing the Mount Rushmore um, fireworks or not this year. But anyway, I'm going to get off here now. I'm going to make another video and talk about uh, changing it up a little bit. And how I've been watching a lot of videos. And some people are stuck, like haven't lost. And so I wanted to share my experience. I am like not a professional by any means. I This is just my experience of how I'm losing again because I was stuck. So I'm going to come back on and I'm going to make another video. I'm going to upload this when I get home and then I'm going to make another video and just share my story about that. Maybe it'll help somebody or click with somebody or, or something. So that's what we're all here for, right? It's just to, you know, put our stuff out there and tell our story. And then if, you know, it can help somebody else, fantastic. If not, then, you know, it's still our story and we just move on from that. So thanks you guys for my new subscribers. Thank you to just getting to know all of you guys. I feel like I have, you know, like some new friends. I'm excited about it. <laughs> so thanks you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.